Awo shalom rastafari greetings. Ine wendem yadan rasiadinos tefari name. This is Brother Yadon of Yehuda Moa Andesa Machiber of the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. You can visit us on the web at um, lojsociety.org or also broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net and um, as well as Ethiopian World Net 911. That's for that's for emergency. In case we're not broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net, check us at Ethiopian World Net 911. And also for the sabbatical um, readings and feedings on Rastafari Sabbatical on the YouTubes. All right. So we want to just continue with this part two, um, where we're touching on um, a particular verse from Scripture as well as seeking to debunk what some of our Hebrew Israelites um, assume based on poor hermeneutics concerning this particular verse in Amos, right? In Amos, in Amos 9 and, uh, in Amos 9 and, uh, in Amos 9 and, um, uh, 9 and 7, let's see, it's 9 and 7, uh, excuse me, let's just bring this up right here. So, okay, that's a vid right there, 9 and 7. All right, here's a particular verse, all right? Here's a particular verse in the Hebrew, right? Now, this goes to English once again, and in the English, here it is right here. Let's see if we can bring this up um, one more one more step so you can see this as um, clear as possible, all right? Okay, here's the verse, Amos 9 and 7, all right? It says, R, or rather, this is not really there based on the Hebrew, but it's put in by the translator. So in your Bibles, it's probably be italicized. It says, are ye, right? Ye means you all, speaking to more than one, right? Not as children of the Ethiopians to me, not unto, un as an unclean, undone, un, no. Cross out that un right there, all right? Strengthen your prayer, strengthen your word sound based on this translation. This will go a long way to clarify and strengthen the meaning when you take out these unto. You see that a lot within the King James 1611. It's, it's one of the best um, translations that we have in the English. However, it does have certain errors. But anyway, let us go forward. Is asked the question. A question is asked here by Yahweh, Baruchu, blessed be He, by the Sustainer, Egziavihir Lotu Sibhat. What is the question? The question is: Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians? To me, to I, O children of Israel, saith Yahweh. So it is He who be who He be. It is he who is who he is, because Yahweh does not mean I am that I am. That's a whole other Hebrew um, phrase. That's Ehya or Ehyo Asher Ehyo, right? Ahya Asher Ahya. That's that phrase. Now, that's in the first person sense. See, when you want, if you really want to get into biblical hermeneutics, you have to understand what the true context of the Hebrew is. In order to understand that, you need to get to the root. And this is why this verse is so important, because we ourselves would not even have known that unless we went to the primary, the primary source for the faithful and true once lost, but now found Beta Israel. And that is our NI Ethiopian documentation and the Ethiopian evidence. That's why the point about the Ethiopian Hebrews or the Ethiopian Jews or the Beta Israel, the Falashas of the East, is important to us who are Falashas of the West. All right? And so this verse, when we see that some um, black Hebrew Israelites 
maintain a faulty hermeneutic. That means interpretation and say, well, this verse doesn't mean that the Ethiopians or any of them are Israelites, but some of them say falsely that it only refers to the complexion, the physical appearance. You see, some are stuck on the physical and are not in the spiritual. They're not getting the overstanding. They're getting an understanding of this, but not a full, a true blue overstanding. And we need the overstanding. We need to know the truth because the truth that shall set us free. So let's touch on this verse right here. It says, Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians to me, O children of Israel, saith Yahweh, saith he who be who he be? Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt? Question. And the Philistines from Kaftor, and the Syrians from Ur, as we explained in the first part,